Guys, this mass defection. This mass defection. How you say? But does it have any effect on the plans or what you do? It's actually very good for us. Now people are clear about who they are. Who they are. And this is their tradition. Our tradition is from the not in the interest of the Airtel, the smartphone network. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome to this party. Today, we are introducing you all that work with us. You started. Oh, hello. Now, nah, Kano will be this one. So, we have from Kano. And uh, we are honored to have our guy in the studio this morning. One of our followers will talk explosive. You get any number to call? Yes, numbers. Yes. You can zoom in. Call from all over the world. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that is why I'm here. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's go. Ahead. All right, uh, you look our, our Google at 12 minutes, nine door manos come out of from inside eight o'clock. Uh, this better old school Thursday morning. And uh, old school, we uh, always uh, give our people open tickets. Uh, so that they go fit to discuss anything and everything. If it be from yesterday, yes. If it be from uh, last year, if it be from today. But the cocoa of the matter, we say, we go discuss the matter as it be, and we go give you opportunity to call and yarn the call of your belly. They build up to 2019. It on the hot with uh, the political activities where they happen for inside the country. Uh, one of the interesting thing. Now, the number of new entrants when they come into uh, the system, you know, from this year has built up to uh, next year for the elections. This morning, I don't get uh, better sweet belly as one of the aspirants uh, don't enter for his studio again. Not be your second time, so we actually be very happy to get you inside studio this morning. Thank you for bringing me again. Um, yes, go ahead. I know some people fit uh, don't already code the, the the voice, but I would like you to introduce yourself. Uh, make a local do a may not come be the way it is with your belly. Yes, my name now more yearly show mm. I'll be presidential aspirant. We won't take Nigeria to another level. So yesterday I come into town for Kano. Last time when I come, I come see the enemy of Kano. Yesterday I come in the people of Kano. Uh, I remember say last time where I come or maybe that engineer I will call that day they listen now mm. and they complain bad about Kano Kaduna. Kano Kaduna. No, Kano, uh, yeah. yeah, Kaduna Zaria Kaduna. Yeah, Kano Kaduna Zaria. Good news now, we say after we shut that last time, I said they don't repair the road though. Okay, that means you don't follow road come. I don't follow road come this okay. time around. I follow air come from Abuja, but we send people follow road come for our team and they load the road. So I don't make a shot on their head again. But mm -hmm. I guess they don't repair the road. And I think we show to you say if you if government fee act when they want act. But if you don't get people for government we Sabi act, then we get a problem. If you say we don't shout that shout, maybe by now they will put the play for the road. But see now, I hear the damn pictures. I don't see myself, but people uh, but you don't hear. Don't say. Any, anyway, we go go to all that. But um, in case uh, somebody just did, no hear you the first time when you come, yeah, uh, we like to know. Say you now one of the the new entrants into the presidential race. That's right. As we build up to two thousand and nineteen. Not true. Very quickly, I would like to make you tell us how you prepare yourself. Because for you to come to class, say you don't ready to do this thing. Make we hear small as um, uh, inspiration and ginger to other people who feel they lost this kind of ambition in the future. How you prepare yourself for this moment? The preparation no, not be one day, and the preparation not be one side. For me, 
the preparation started about uh, 29 to 30 years ago when I entered University of Lagos. When it was a problem for the country that time, in our military rule. Okay. When I joined other young people, students in particular, including some activists for this town, waiting for BUK. I still remember Nasir Okura, who is still the activist even now. We drive military commands. After we drive military commands, I come on, go US. Come start that newspaper or website where they call Sahar Reporters. Most people mm. know me as the founder and operator of Sahar Reporters. I will nobody that miss that one. And what I do for the last 12 years now to fight to expand that democratic space where we create when we drive military come up for power, begin fight corruption, open governance, transparency, or good governance, and we will fight for. But over all that time, too, I'd be strong activist. It makes us anywhere where I meet these guys when they don't do well. You go talk I, I don't if I don't talk um, as soon as I see maybe now someone I don't watch some video of me and one minister for environment mm, radio station. One of the slogan house. Where we slog them out. I saw my life be say I believe say this country from Naibawa Park from Hell, Gorish Potakot must be a better country. Some people believe, now we don't mention, mention uh, Sahara reporters, some people believe, say, at a point, you'll be tool for hand of some politicians. Now, so, they, they talk, even when they invest in. The military government talks, say, we'll be tool in the hands of active uh, people like Yanifa or me. They even expel me from school for that reason. But today, we know who be tool for inside of hand of devil. Now, the military guys. But as a politician, part of the process we say you must get affiliation, you must get alignment Now, part of the strategy. Waiting they define your own alignment and affiliation. Alignment now with the people, young people for this country. I said I define now more, you know, so they get six geopolitical zones for Nigeria. Mm. Me, I believe say we get the seventh geopolitical zone. People where they don't abandon, people where they don't cheat, people where they don't you know, they don't destroy, people where they don't alienate. People where they just mistreat the poor, the weak, the old in this country. Now then we will be my affiliation. Now the now our own coalition with that, not with their own type of coalition where we call cup, cup of sorrow. Maybe I will have. rephrase the question again. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, party politics for our country will not say one of the things where you need, you need money. Yeah. And then two, there is the godfather factor. Godfatherism, mm -hmm. they believe, say, for you, especially for young people, you must balance your legs somewhere. They draw strength and inspiration and even money funding to be able to do this kind of very big where they tell you, you say, mm. this coalition we will get, this is our movement, what they call take it back movement. Now, to retire the godfathers and godmothers, mm -hmm. we don't hook Nigeria for neck with their part type of politics, we destroy this country. Mm. Money, we will need. But the money we we need, we know much because we know they buy rice. We know they buy Ankara for people. No stomach and frustration. We know the stomach. We they sell ideas. We feel we break them. We feel give people schools. We feel provide loans to farmers where really they do agriculture for this part of the world. We feel give the opportunity where the son of governor or president get for the son of nobody for this country to get education when they need. If we allow our parents to get hospital where they feel enter, get treated properly. If we allow, as we say, road, men they construct them. But road not be between Kano, Zari, and Kaduna, I don't. We also need for Yola to Jamingo and back. We also need rural roads so that farmers go feel carry their products, go sell for market, or make they get up need to process them so they don't go spoil. Now, that kind of world we will do right now. To provide education, particularly because yesterday I've been go no, uh, this canal youth uh, yeah you summit yeah and uh, you summit all the old people just did the government officials they talk, say coming soon coming soon I say Nigeria and our team <laughs> I confront them all but before I give speech they don't they don't already run away from the event but I talk to the young people for there and the place they feel them and they come to support come the club say. Because this will not be a matter of ethnicity or religion. Mm. Because hunger, no survey, ethnicity, no survey, At religion. All. Disease, sickness, no survey, religion, no survey, ethnicity. Make we bond together, chase all these godfathers or godfatherism, come out of our system, so that all of us could be one who will enjoy this country. Because the resources did there for Nigeria today, fantastic country. Me, I talk talking because I don't travel small. No, besides, I take and come the boss for radio or television, but I don't travel for 19 years. All over the world, and I know what other people they do to make their country they okay. 
But for Nigeria, they don't call up be all the things we're supposed to work for the country. Can they build mansions? They can they travel? They take our own money, go they build for other build other places. Places like Dubai and Nigerians go and they spend money for there. If you carry Emirates airline, they enter this country ten day, ten times per day. You know, we're not to carry passengers when they enter Dubai. Same thing for British Airways, same thing for now Turkish Airways. But we don't get anything really work for us. We need leaders where we make things work for this country. There's no need to be apologetic about it. Recently, debate the show say um, that young people be the answer um, to this leadership problem we'll get for Nigeria. I would like to get your thoughts uh, towards this not too young to run bill. Uh, in as much as plenty of people celebrate and welcome them, other people believe say monkey hand the day for his side. Yeah, I me I I think I talked about when I did here last time. So I don't believe too much for that kind. Young, too not too young to run. The thing are uh, part of the campaign to just make people feel good, right? You don't need elders to tell you say you are too young or too old to run. If you're ready to run, go and run. If you're not ready to take over government. All of the young people go born to the. But the constitution don't allow them the until cons the constitution. The people will, when they do the constitution finish, two things happen. We make people come the doubt even the people we do them now. The people where they fight for the law, now nah, old people where they follow now, nah, most of them, or they keep silent. They don't even they support the young people where they run. Then secondly, when they go do the signing, they did all of them, they smile, going from air to air. The man, they tell them, say, I'm not going to need to wait for four years. So. By the time they wait for four years, all these young people where they now, they go, they old too. They, they go, they too old to run. So that make people they doubt say whether the thing gets some kind of RNG development for inside. You know, say they talk say if you see snake where they run, mm. you know, say snake get leg for under the thing they left. Mm. So now the thing we make people, but me, I always depress any young person we take any form of activism from beginning to the end. But now they have duty to show the not to say this one are bad joy. But a lot of people they think say people like you and other young people are product or result uh, will come out from this not uh, too no, young. No, I don't do for that category. Even my age, I don't reach for seven years old. I don't already qualify before they pass the law mm. to run for presidency. No, I don't do for that. I just look young for face. <laughs> so I don't do. I know do for that. I know they not be the law benefit me to run. Okay. No, no, Alright, then uh, we'll make it very quickly before we go a uh, small break. And when we come back, we'll open telephone. But before that time, uh, you go tell us your worker all around the country. Uh, we'll say, you know, they engage young people. Now, only young people have been uh, stakeholders. Mm. Who really you they engage? We, we they now? start to engage people when they, leave, when they left out of the political process. Then we will go to the people. Yeah, like, like who? Believe, yes. Like young people, okay. all the people they turn 18 now, between 18 and 30 for this country, they don't abandon them. We they engage women, where they are out of the political process. We they engage older people too, where they are. To, but our focus now to look at young people, with the 70% of the population of Nigeria, where they no get job, they no get schools to go to. The ones we for this country today, if you don't know somebody, you not know, get admission for school, mm. any high institution, even second school, secondary, secondary school self. If you don't get contact, you know if you get jobs, even regular government jobs. And you don't even talk about people with the physically disadvantaged. We meet we meet them, they are part of all our rallies. They don't even get any policy for the physically disadvantaged people for this country, special populations at all. Every year we just take them out, every election cycle we just take them out say hey, the physically disadvantaged. We don't even invite them to come our rallies. You know, they let them, we don't get a place for them to sit. We know if you find any federal building today, we get what they call uh, disability access. Mm. Yeah. Mm. We don't get buses, we get wait. We, like I said, I don't try. We want to enter bus, physically challenged person, go wait for them, pull out the wheelchair, the wheelchair lift. Yes. They go lift them back inside, help them sit down before the bus comes. Maybe it take five minutes. We have everybody wait, they have to wait. Because you look at them, now those people will be the only people waiting, men that are for sports for this country. 
Mm. Or even Olympics, the Paralympics, where do they go? Mm. So if they are doing us proud, why are we not doing them proud? We're supposed to carry them along. Yes. All right, that one are the voice of uh, one of the presidential aspirants uh, for inside 2019 elections. He never tell us which uh, political party we're in, there, but we hope say when, when we come back, uh, we'll go reach that level. Mr. Oyewole, Omoyele, sorry. Uh, uh, now, the founder of Sahara Reporters, uh, there for inside with studio this morning. We'll go one small break. When we come back, I will open telephone so that if you get any question for him, you will ask him and then he will tell us more about this dream when he gets. My name now Ajebo. Ajebo better begin at the comeback. So when we come back, we will ask you because um, we will not get um, independent candidacy for inside Nigeria. Yes. It worry you? Uh, if for good, because if it's an independent candidacy, they for not joining parties right now. But but you know worry you. You know worry me. Okay. Whether independent candidates are there or no, we will still run or we will win this election. We they sure say the people of the country are ready for different direction. We will make the country better pass as it did now. Okay. Not be this one way they will they call a school so crazy. Mm. Government by excuses. Hmm. Or is it excuses? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I asked that question because I really want to understand, uh, get your thoughts about uh, party politics for our country. Yes. A lot of people believe, say, um, the structures of the parties coming together, forming alliances, getting agreements, different people with different ideologies coming together, and at the end of the day, you see, say, the team will hold them, no they strong enough to hold them, mm -hmm. and then the crisis will come up from party enter for inside governance. The, the truth be say, most of those guys waiting for inside these parties, nothing they hold them, pass what they go chop. Mm. Now the bond be that, now, they, now their truth hold them together, uh, now they are so far goes. At the moment they chop, 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 like at the talk, so they see them since 1999. The best way to describe these politicians, mainstream politicians, are the, the carpet baggers. Mm. Where they cross from one carpet, they are cross carpet in every damn electric, uh, electoral season. So now, because now the true season when they get, now summer and winter, they get the summer now, they go rush through there when they warm. And when they cool, most when they come yeah, out, they go, they go, come they go out. Find go and that place where they warm. That's how they are. And it's important to see Nigerian people understand say these people don't get their interests at heart. Now I wish they go job that they find all over the place. And the moment they you know, the moment the thing say the thing don't finish that they talk say it doesn't like bed right there on top of branch of uh tree. The tree break, the flag. Hey you go leave now. now. I know go follow the tree, go <laughs> down. No, exactly. So they don't get that kind of logical conviction to stay for one place consistently. Now, the thing where people like me don't do for 30 years is that I stand on one side. Whether they cold or they convenient or inconvenient, the way they, they, are, they fight for the betterment of this country. So, we don't forget all these parties, but we they come up with our own political platform for this take it back soon. When we go announce, they will take us to the next level. So, so you know they join any of the existing political parties? The mainstream existing political parties, I know they join. That is to say, APC or PDP or, or you know the, that, uh, regardless of how they will change their name because I hear the PDP said won't change name. Mm. Uh, yes. So I know I know if we join that. My conscience not gonna let me join that. That means say by now you don't secure your uh, party registration and the whole mechanism don't the mechanism the, there where they go on. Uh, and as you, as, you don't secure your registration. Uh, I know people tell you how we go do them because I wanna uh, and because I know say I never get timetable. And they get timetable, we don't, we, we, we go there okay for the time table and like the, where they, the, where will they work with, and where do they work with. In fact, even PDP said won't go in the register. So, now we say times today. Okay. P critically, now 90 days, now elections to take happen seriously for Nigeria. If you look at for 2014, mm. President Buhari wasn't a candidate of uh, APC on the October. Mm. No, actually December. So now that in December, January, supposed to February 14, the chief time, I think they come to 
the election and that kind of match. I did not the election that I well. So now so it be ninety days circle now we take the election for Nigeria. Other places they do um, earlier than that. But we, we don't start already the conscientization, the mobilization, engagement and interaction with the necessary. Now we go. Like for our take it back movement and we don't do the most nationwide uh, tour. We don't reach Wari, enter Kano twice now, enter Kaduna, we don't enter Bini, we don't enter Abuja, we don't enter Joss, enter Galingo, enter Yola, we don't enter Quara, but Lauren, we don't enter. And so, I, are they tempted to ask, well, after this work, what will be the next phase of the Take It Back um, uh, movement? We will announce party. That's the next major phase. After okay. we do work out. We, after we finish for Northwest now, we will go back, go perfect our party situation. And then because of the nature of the movement now, they get it's a global movement and global dimension. We as we enter Nigeria, they enter everywhere. Now we enter some places where Nigeria and they concentrated abroad to take this course how we will take the future of this country back. Because at the end of the day, when we want to start our government, now all Nigerians, whether they did home and abroad, now go they involved. All right, uh, small time now, we go open with telephone. Any part of the world where you did, if it uh, to call us, we still be available on top WhatsApp and on top Facebook. Uh, on top telephone, now 0808-553-1951. 0902 0812-515-1951. 8951951 and then on top whatsapp now 0809 send us message uh, if you get question uh, for the leader of the movement uh, so worry 2019 uh, take it back movement you go ask or make contributions now i'm um, back to the studio before we begin take calls yes the incumbent president, mm -hmm. the president of the country, yes. uh, Muhammad Buhari, has declared, you don't declare any intention, say in the run yes. for re election. Yes. You think that you go fit defeat the president at the polls? Yes, absolutely. This president know perform well well. And that's the reason why he must retire and make it go back to the city or town for Dara. We know if you continue like this. Uh, continue. You did talk for yourself, Abi. You think say you did talk for the generality of now Nigerians? You talk about the generality of Nigerians because I mean, we did Kano now. And the impression when they give us, before we even come Kano, say everybody with the Kano, they support Buhari. You know, pay no space when I Kano to even turn. But when I Kano yesterday, we do our own time home, meeting people food, they're young people, they ask, say, how soon we go defeat these people? Including Buhari, so that then said they look for a different future. We the fake guarantee them say they belong to this country. It shows that Buhari no fit to him. They don't try and best. They invest not they good enough to continue with. And this country not be hold itself to that lack of best where the man don't do in the next four years. So whether you did for Kano or you did for Lagos or you did for Takoto or you did for in Agua, or you did Jalingo, or you did for Dara, everybody's tired, and everybody's saying enough is enough. But that, uh, we know they do say bye bye anymore. Say like bye bye, what they do now? Uh, well, when when we take a few more calls, I would like to know because we're in the age of um, evidence, or you go to call them empirical evidence. Mm -hmm. So we we'll like to know the indices, what will be the basis mm -hmm. of your conclusion. Uh, because no, I guess the, the government gets cockered. Mm -hmm. When they hit your hand for chess, yes. see what you would all accomplish. Yes. Hello? Hello, good morning. Yes, good morning to you this morning. Yeah, I'm calling from uh, Ashley Road. Uh, what will be your name? My name is Frankie. Okay, Frankie, good morning to you. Yeah, I let me say welcome to the gentleman in the city there with the story. Thank you, good morning. Yes. Yeah, in the situation of change in this country, this Nigeria, uh -huh. like, uh, let me make a reference to what just happened two days back or a day back regarding the siege, the 
played on the, the premises of uh, the Senate President and Deputy. Yes. Uh, that the Nigerian Security Agency. Yes. Uh, so I mean, so you can withstand all those things that can be used to characterize Nigerian political atmosphere, all those uh, types of uh, maybe all democratic uh, democratic attitudes of the government. Thank you so much. Thank you, Frankie. Uh, Frankie, very quickly, maybe I explain to you. This one uh, small compared to women don't face for in the past. What did I don't see? Under military rule, now, not be police, not be chargers, now tank when they put in front of the university where they take the fire tours, where we stand up. When I did University of Lagos, our problem for university that time, I caught it in also where we stand up. I don't go to jail eight different times. Well, when they say jail, not really sentence me, but police carry us, put for SSS, detain us. In my 20s, though, I will stand up. So, this one's not nothing. Now, the people will never see this kind of thing before they even make a big deal. I know say they will come in different ways, in different formats, but they will also fall. Now, where you don't mention your side. days in the yeah. University of Lagos, yes. Yes. is it true, say, at a point, they link you to issues of uh, cultism and, no. and stuff? They say that part of the reason why you had to leave Nigeria. No, I, I fought cultism when I did in life. I was against cultism. I fought court people, the students. Where they do courtism because interestingly, in those days, the students will be court leaders when they do courtism. They were children of the same people waiting for military, they were children of traditional rulers and rich people outside. So, they come to the question and say, Your papa, they destroyed Nigeria, you said, One can't destroy campus. No, agree. They fight, we fight. I was uh, attacked by the court guys, I was injected, but I don't leave the country immediately. And after, you don't recover, come, don't recover. I even do NYC before I come home from Nigeria. Travel abroad. Okay, fine. Um, just before we uh, take some more calls, uh, building on waiting, Frank, you don't talk. You don't get any sign of intimidation or oh, harassment. Day, every day. Even yesterday, when I come to they, they tried to seize my live streaming device. Say, I don't get right to stream my movements around the country. I tell them, say, there's no law that prevents you from streaming live. It's my personal device. And I have a right to show where I did travel all over the world. I go to Europe. I did even stream takeoff and landing live. Because all over the world now, they, they sell internet package in the air for you to stream. Special package. So, but we, we always did back. But the legislation for those countries, no, they the same thing with our own. There's not, they, even for here, we don't get any legislation that says you can't stream live. Hello? Hello? Yes, good morning to you. Oh, Titi, how are you? I'm fine. Now, Pigeon, how they blow for you? How you did? Okay, yeah, I go speak Pigeon. Oh, yeah, now. Ah, hello, Mr. Chowena, Titi, they talk. Good morning, Titi, how you did now? No, no, I don't know, I'm not going to say, 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 yeah. I've been working two days in my final year. Wow. In wow. I wish you the best, too. Thank you. And uh, I take care of a disabled person as a part-time job. I want you to talk more about disability people. But as a you know, uh, what you're going to do for them, what you're going to do for them. Because this really, really matters. Because even really, 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 Yes. 
and I plan to, I call him every December, and this December, I'm coming my CD to contain for you. Wow. Uh, uh, the, the cup, the hand and everything. Mm. I really need, because I believe in you, because this is how people they contain for you, and then they call you, they see the things they want to do, they will tell you everything, they will tell you how they want to do. But my major question is, make you really talk more about disability people. Now, okay. I'm going to say thank you. Yes. Thank so you. Talk more about them, because there are so much more in Nigeria. Yes. Many disabled people stay in Nigeria where they are. Yes. And this is another means of creating jobs for youth. Yes. Imagine me as a, as a nursing student. I'm working, I'm taking care of one at home. Yes. This is as well a great opportunity for for in Nigeria. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Steve. Thank you. Thank you, Titi, all the way from Finland. Yes. Uh, she don't make um, her points clear, but I will allow you to respond to her. Yes. Uh, just uh, like, give me one small, um, one minute, make her do small business at the call. Okay. Right now, still 95.1 was Zobia FM. Would they reach you from uh, the pyramid city of Kano uh, for Nigeria? Any part of the world where you need to listen to, we uh, will get for inside studio this morning the leader of the Take It Back uh, movement, presidential aspirant for 2019 general elections, Mr. Omoyele Shawore. Uh, Oga, good morning to you again. Good morning, thank you so much for bringing me on your show. I really appreciate that. All right, um, so uh, Titi called all the way from Finland, yes, and um, she talked because we we did about to carry out the interview to the next level so that you go tell us waiting be your own plan for this country if your dreams come true. Yes, the question with Titi they asked now about uh, people with the we get disability, or people with a cross special population for mm. our country. And, from waiting at the here, these guys them reach almost 20 million people, and most of them, being very loyal citizens of this country, they get uh, PPCO. But my starting point, not to explain, say, man, we need to put these people for national health insurance automatic, right? When we say they could be receive medical care. Anytime, anywhere with them, they, anywhere with them, they request for them um, and to give support to them wherever they might be. But most importantly, for immediate, they also need cash support. They need to be supported with cash. 50,000, I would propose at the beginning for every handicapped person for this country. 50,000? Yes, power, power quarter. That is three times a year, they get 50, 50,000. When our situation improves, we will put more, maybe we can do it every month. Because where I've been there for US, people will get disability, then get disability uh, stipends, whether they collect from the government, they get food stamps, whether they get from government, so that they don't go hunger. And they will put them in a way where they go to job training so that they can be employed. So those one of them with the well educated and a lot of them they they way way they well educated for Nigeria, including here when I when I listen to the kind of quality of questions that they asked yesterday, you know, say these people and this sound upstairs. So it should not be an excuse to push them outside of society. So my intention is to give them support. Make sure any time with the employ for the federal government you must make slots compulsorily available for people with disability. 
You sure say this one no be um, to recreate uh, what uh, the current administration no. do to? No, the thing where they tell you that things where I don't see, where I don't implement before. Okay. Yeah, because I don't work for social service sector for U.S. before, like Catholic charities. When we say part of their job now to uh, help people with their disabilities, help immigrants. I was a manager there for two years, and I see the template on how they take help people. This one I charge will not be even government itself. Okay. So. And you have a lot of groups in the country who are helping them. You can have support for people where NGOs where they support them. And also you can have direct intervention programs for them. But not be this ad hoc way we get let me say anytime election they come, you know, go distribute coke, give them some money. After election you disappear from them. My heart they bleed when I see person with the uh, disadvantage physically the way they treat them for this country. I wanna be First people where I meet when I started about five months ago now, this fiscally challenged persons at the National Stadium for Lagos. And every town hall meeting we don't do, especially in recent times, we have almost, almost ensured that they are included so that they sit in front with us, they ask questions, and we address their concerns. All right. Uh, so apart from that one, which other special policies um, will you get for the people of Nigeria? Our policy, we are spelled out in what we call Spicer Hits. There are 10 platforms, 10 places we intervene, and the first one is security to make sure that this country is secure and we end the blood, uh, bloodletting that is happening in the land. The second one, no, we are very composing in electricity for me. Okay. You know, say this country, we must light up this country. We need to introduce energy mix like solar, we will not get it before. Because countries like Tunisia, Morocco, and they even sell electricity to France, or they're planning to, or Malta, from solar. And that's why the northern part of Nigeria is important to us, because now here we will put those structures for solar energy to the country. And that one alone will employ over 2 million people just to generate 4,500 megawatts of electricity from solar. We get many countries around the world jammed the way they invest in this, and they are looking for places to put solar farms so that they will generate electricity for cool. Our country and they also benefit Nigeria. Number three, now infrastructure, road infrastructure, they dilapidated condition. We need to build new ones, we need to uh, fix the ones we did there, we don't hold. The number three, of course, now to fight corruption so that the money will they get to people not go to steal and all those mm. bar hours within inside our system. We have to put them out of business. And then the third one, the, the, the next one, the economy. How we will make this economy they all inclusive way to work for the people of Nigeria provide employment, you know, uh, provide social security safety net for our people, and ensuring that everything we come to Nigeria tickle, trickles down to the regular people, the ordinary people. Uh, the next one, are restructuring. This country is overdue for restructuring, but that's at the shout. Everywhere where I go, restructuring for me means saying that we they restructure the country for young people. Okay. Not to restructure for the same people we don't do for the battle land of life. We have no right to be talk about restructuring or restructuring Nigeria for us. Now we go restructure the country for and the only way we feel restructure Nigeria according to your own design now to be in charge of the restructuring process, power. That okay. Mean, uh, 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 political power. The next thing uh, health, education, we want to declare emergency for education sector so that we will feel increase the access to education. Right now, there are only two million spaces available for students when we enter higher institutions. And over 20 million of them are willing to go to school. If you know build the access for them to enter university and create the class where will take the country to the next level, you better make it a build prison. Mm. So if you don't build school, in that prison, in that prison you're supposed to build. So we have to build schools. From okay. Kindergarten to university, more access, more schools, and free and compulsory education for all our people. All right, we so lies on the culture and tourism. Okay, we we lies on the buzz. Mm -hmm. So we will take a few calls. When we come back, you will continue with your plans. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Yes. Good morning to you. I my name is Steve. Oh, that's Steve. How are you doing? From where do you call us from? I'm calling from post office, my brother. Uh, my regards to your guest in the house. He did hear you. So, uh, I want to know ask your, your guest in the house. Some of things that happen for Nigeria. Hmm. So much agitation, people tribalism, people want to get themselves, people want to, you know, 
this uh, religious crisis. I want to ask him, if he will become the president of Nigeria today, how is he going to handle all the things I mentioned now? Mm. Thank you. Augustine, okay, thank you very much. Um, we talk about religious agitation, all kinds of crises. We have to divide them into what they cause them and how we can solve them. Most of the things we really see, say, people they do, even at the level of religious agitation and the excesses we do involve. Now, because law enforcement know they do their jobs. It was intervention day between when crisis they brew and when crisis starts. We know people know they lose even lives at all sometimes. Mm. Or say with the gather intelligence when crisis they go on or we see say something won't happen, we pin the people where they do them. We go pick them up. Either we talk to them, say they don't start the trouble. If they start the trouble, they know the outcome of the actions. It will go away. But the other thing I also want to forget, say, as a country where they diverse, we have differences. You know, and diversity is, is natural. See, from time to time, we they gather together, they discuss our differences. They ensure, say, we give people avenue to excel, to express themselves, to have these discussions, re uh, conflict resolution discussions from time. All of them have to be working for a pursuit and making sure that all our institutions are working for our people. For example, now if somebody go court, we judge go sell in judgment to another person. The judge is, is going to invite crisis. If police, they see blue, where they call them white. Now crisis, eventually that thing will blow in the face of everybody. But the thing where I talk, say government where they for the people, where their life to its responsibility, where they command the security agencies, where not they biased. Also, we not be saying when something happens like this, government will sign on the side of one, one of the guys where they do the bad thing. But, uh, maybe on that note, make I ask you, because uh, the government of the day, they struggle with these issues. Do you think, uh, say, that they do enough? They know they do enough, that's the problem. Man. If they do enough, we will not get these questions to come up, we will not get crisis for this country at the level we will get. Some of the issues where they have for first, how somebody go, they will go carry weapons from one section of the country, go the other, go carry out killings, come back, on the school, left one house, and nobody even investigate. People just die like that. For where I don't see around the world, one person die like this, they must get to the root of the matter. Instead, sometimes they are still trying to solve more that cases 20 years after, 40 years after. Mm. So, but our country, you will just see people play, people just die, they kill her, nobody go ask. Even they go, they point to the person who kill her, nobody will go near her. That's not, that will not be country. That's why I say this country not a work for Nigerians. All right, you go call us back again. We're still here on top of Zubia FM. The leader of the Take It Back movement, presidential aspirant for 2019 uh, general elections, uh, Mr. Omoyele Showore, still there for his studio with us. Hello? Yes, good morning to you. Uh, okay, Henry, you go carry your voice up uh, with the struggle to hear you. Yes, with the hear you. Thank you. Sorry, uh, Oga Henry, we, we, we know if we continue with your call, you know, they clear at all. We try to take them, but uh, you know, work. I beg no vex. We'll go, go another short break. When we come back, uh, we'll go round up with uh, Mr. Sowore inside studio uh, this early morning. No go anywhere. My name now Ajebo Adikong. <laughs> Hopefully, 
They say it gets uh, the truth with time they do. Before you know anything, time they run. You know, no say they run. You just in Awaka, they walk about to the run. Uh, with time uh, done almost the finish, uh, but um, I will allow Oga Omoyele, so worry, uh, make you just um, tell us as one, allow you to come up from Mr. Studio, waiting exactly be the thing where you want from Nigerians to support uh, these dreams and, you know, eventually when and if God will, you enter office. Yes. Uh, uh, total cooperation where they look for, especially for people we never vote before we feel say this country it's because a lot of people don't give up hope on the country already say this country don't feel better again. But when they tell you say hope they're on the way, help is there on the way, we cannot give up. But we need your support, make you convince everybody because some people will just say we don't know sure, we don't know sure. But you ask them say they know the thieves, they know all the thieves, but they don't know. The person will feel fix the country, but now you don't know me or tell the people where they around you say this country feel better and make you spread the message. But most importantly, maybe you go get your PVC on election day, make you sure say you vote, and when you vote, make you stand your ground until your votes are counted and they mean something. Because again, we believe say and we know say this country feel better, that this country feel get road, we feel get electricity, we feel, we feel get good roads, we feel get education for our children. Not be mouth. I know so many politicians don't talk and say that same thing politicians they talk and not a politician. Mm. Person, I, I, I mean, you come to that part. Yes. Now, person will get conscious where I be. Yesterday, I tell some journalists say all kinds of people don't govern this country before. We don't appoint or elect people, or some people don't impose themselves on Nigeria where they use all kinds of reasons. They use ethnicity, religion, you know. But mm. it is time for Nigeria to vote for real human beings. If you take Nigeria to the level of prosperity, peace, and progress. Thank you, thank you. But um, even though you just uh, you jump this small, we like bring you back small as we close. Waiting make waiting will make uh, President Shawori different from all that. I don't jump on. I just tell you, say something. I look back at my pedigree, look at my history, which you, you can find out. Say because most people don't know. Say. I don't dare around since 1989. So you don't know, say I dare among the young people where they behind Abiola. Even if you search for internet, you will see my video with Abiola 1993 when I be 21 years old. Okay. People know, most people don't know, say that the same show where we get Sahara reporters where they expose all the corruption within this country. Most people don't know, say that maybe the person where they lead protests against bad governance for a long time, including when even for the US, when we say one minister come like this, one come they lie. We hold the place up until police come, come settle the thing. Many things like that where I don't do, you understand, apart from other things where they do where I don't like to they brag about as per support to my community, to my country, and to my fellow human beings. So, completely good person, I they speak to you. So, uh, the type where we say, well, I don't like to they open my they brag because I'm human like the rest of you. I know better past the rest of you, but. Are different from all these people who I don't see before. I can tell all you right. more. If uh, they ask question about me, they will tell you that. So okay. All right. So thank you very much for coming. But I still get curious because as I just listen to you, I wonder uh, based on seeing a journalist, now you be publisher, um, yes. activist, and everything. How you define time to relax? Waiting, you they do with your. Make I tell you. Mm. So this morning, you know what I do? Can you tell me. I've been go race course, go run. Oh. Running is my relaxation. Wow. Yes, I will. And you're running for president again. And you run for president. So run a day your blood. A day my blood. So I think you relax. <laughs> you know, now my main relaxation will be done at run because it let me think, it process, and it keeps me fit. Nice, yeah, nice. So I don't do like two miles already this morning mm. before I come to the studio. All right, so how far? What your family? I get, I get wife, I get kids. Okay. You know, and I get huge family. My papa born 20, 20 kids. 
Wow. I mean, the last time I checked, it's still 17 of us still there on the ground. Did it back. And I know say your papa follow tell you that thing where everybody papa did do, do better than me. <laughs> so maybe you go go get like 40 shoes. Like, right? In that department, <laughs> nobody could try my dad, you know. My, you know, uh, he did well in that okay. department. So me, I know I won't try that. I won't, I won't beat my father in the area where he know do, which is so, he know be big time, you know, activist where I be. Okay. He was the in teacher. All so right. I don't do teacher, I don't born, I don't marry. Now I won't do other things we you know do before in past. So but my papa they up there, they check on all of us, they check on all the children. All right. Yes. Thank you very much. And we sure see as your papa did there in Godin very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, again, the leader of the Take It Back movement, uh Omoyele Soware, uh, 2019 presidential aspirant. Thank you, say you can see us and we hope say as this movement continues, uh you will drop in so that you follow country people so. Absolutely. Thank you, Kano, thank you, Wazobi and all your listeners. So I'll just say we take it back. Take it back. <laughs> Alright, take it back. Any part of the world where you they watch us on top Facebook, uh, on top internet. Uh, anywhere where they watch us, we appreciate you. Not if you take all the comments on Facebook, then too plenty, and then the people will call. We not you answer. Now so you walk the day sometimes. Thank you very much. I know they come up for road time. Don't reach for sports morning worker, MVP and verse. They know already. It is uh, required, which in some cases is required that we overhaul our security architecture. We do training. We properly equip, and also we engage communities around the country in a way that can resolve some of the problems they have now without resorting to the use of force on the part of security agencies. And it also includes cyber security because in the future, the greatest threat to nation states and individuals will actually be in the cyberspace. Most people don't know this already, but we're thinking ahead. And also, we would bring about power. We need to increase our power generation from mega 7,000 now to 24,000 uh, in the meantime within three years and that would mean that we increase the energy mix. We want to bring 4,500 megawatts of electricity from solar which has never been done in this country before and also to unbundle the, our infrastructure at the transmission level so that everybody can have like mini grids. You don't have to pump your electricity to the national grid before you can make use of it. So communities can grow at their own space where electricity manage and distribute them. Uh, so also it's infrastructure. All the roads, most of the roads in Nigeria are bad and bad shape. We want to reconstruct those ones that are in existence, but most importantly create around the country dual carriageways to ensure that every state of the population is connected by a dual carriageway and all of them are linked together. And that will jumpstart the Nigerian economy. The same way for fighting corruption, we cannot afford to be having everything we earn be stolen. Uh, but we need to be very preventive at it, not shouting after the act has been done. Uh, we'll go to economy, we want to have a grassroots oriented economy in which the economy works for Nigerian people and it's not based on PowerPoint presentations or foreign reserves, as we call it now, but the kind of economy that is powering small businesses. People can get loans without having to go through cutthroat interest rates, as they are now, that we have grants for farmers, you have, again, some kind of connection with places that have not benefited from the economy before. You provide jobs for people, uh, and we increase the minimum wage so as to increase uh, purchasing power and also increase employment because the moment a federal worker earns 100,000 naira, which is a minimum wage proposal, he or she can support a lot of people. And if we are making demands for, say, two pairs of shares, if you're earning 100,000 from 18,000, you can ask for 10. And that means the person who's producing shares locally will have to be forced to hire people who will help them produce more shares. So you jumpstart the local economy that way by increasing the purchasing power of federal civil servants. Same thing for corporate.
uh, policy development. And in some of these areas, we declared state of emergency. Immediately, we have voted into power and sworn in. Um, looking at Nigerian economy presently, yes. all what you have said, do you think is realistic? It's realistic. It's realistic. In fact, most of these things I've said have been budgeted for, but people stole the budget, uh, the money in the budget. So realistically, these are things that we've done our research and know that we can do. In places where we don't feel we can do them, we have figured out who can come in and invest in those sectors, and they can take back their money. It's just like you have uh, in the telephone sector, telecommunication sector, people have come into Nigeria to invest in building our telephone infrastructure. They're saying that every Nigerian now have access to, you know, almost intelligence. Almost every Nigerian has our Facebook. A lot of Nigerians. The intelligence of Nigeria is superb because outsiders came and made investment in telecommunication and they are ripping their profits, but it doesn't mean that they should be ripping off Nigeria. Right? That's where regulation comes in. We will regulate the sectors in such a way that people don't abuse. If you don't want to move people from being beneficiaries of public infrastructure or policy to being victims of it. All right, thank you very much. Uh, the last question I would like to ask is this. Um, the present administration, do you think they have done their best? If they were, why would I be contesting? The present administration has failed completely and they have admitted to their failure. But as it is the case in Nigeria, when people fail, when you don't challenge them, they think they can continue the failure. That's why the country is the way it is today. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Which school's uniform is this? Kanu Capital. Where are you from? 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 Where are you To the young boys who do want to listen, ah, the band wants to go. Papa Julo, I want to be PDP at the APC. See, I'm up with ah, wanting for that listen. So, I just kill one. I want to share this with my dear. The issue is my people. I'm a Jacky Bobo. I'm a Yemo. I go share with them. I'm a Lord. I'm a baby. I'm a little one. Ah, that's it. I'm a little one. I'm a little one. Be it or a jury lady in Nigeria, but she really like to go I won't call Tia Yonona, Lurie to La Roy, be it or a call, it or a jay or Roy, you are a good chera, but look be it or a jury lady, she read Tijo Batua, Lurie Limpa, who pay it or a jew that she a little who could be wrong by you, only was in Mush. Ah, only was in Mush, I told her, move my own cotty, or she shall ask you, possession to repay, I won't see one by Luja, I won't by Luja, I won't jail. Tell <laughs> Lower Denny seems to get pay over town park for you, what do what he or what in Banya? Two, I say, she. I mean, she won't want about Lugeni. Then you land it, you know, as she came by a car darapo, car by law, car by job alone, car fool, and the cafe and this only and told it to the good darap. If you are waiting on buying sorrow, you will quite much in jar.